What up, YouTube? Back at it again. Um, we are looking at some falling in reverse. It's about 6 a.m. ish. Um, it's perfect time for for uh, for this. <laughs> this is uh, this song's called Drugs. It's um, so six minutes, 14 seconds, a long song. Um, this is the third of the trilogy, as I understand. Um, I've been asked to check it out a few times. We're getting there. Um, it is the th it's all right. The f the first two are um, losing my mind and losing my life. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's been a minute. But uh, do me a favor: if you're new here, if you're not new here, run over to Falling Reverse page. Please go like and subscribe. Um, however, um, a lot of these a lot of these songs are on the labels page, uh, Epitaph, um, including this one. So, uh, regardless. Um, Go support any way you can. To definitely jump over and support the artist first. If you like what I do, please like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Appreciate it very much. It does help out the channel. Um, because this is long, we should probably just dive in. Happy, it's not, I was going to say Monday. It's not Monday. Happy Tuesday. Let's go. There, this came with two warnings, by the way. Um, I don't think either of the other two did. I, I, um, I'm pretty sure. But anyways. <laughs> Seeing the red rose on his lapel there it's kind of symbolic and it looked like he started off kind of in a battle with ronnie from the last one uh if i'm not mistaken yeah wasted no time He had the tag on his shoe, like a toe tag, symbolizing the, the death in this. Um, okay, I see why it came with a warning. Kill yourself is what they said to me. I'm, I pulled up lyrics here. Um, I haven't read them yet, but in case he starts going into You never know what genre you're getting with, with Ronnie, so I feel it's best to have lyrics just in case. Um, I suppose I could turn subtitles on, <laughs> but I don't want to do that. We say God is real. Such an uncomfortable feeling beginning to feel the hostility for my ability of solo becoming a villain. I just want to thank all my fans, especially without you. Is a death to me? I don't consider myself a celebrity, but I'll be doing this shit till I'm 70. This is my destiny. This is the best of me. It's an incredible feeling. Before we jump into another verse here, um, he gives you very few times to pause uh, so far because the song is just badass and he, he's fucking he's on a roll with this. But uh, instrumental's badass. Shout out to that drummer too. Um, but okay, so what he was what he was saying, and I followed along with with every word of that that mini rap he did there. Um, he went into double time pretty quick, but luckily I had my coffee. Um, so drugs here in in my mind is is sort of representative of and the way that he's explaining that. Let me uh let me actually see exactly what he says. Um Yeah, dealing with something um running from something that's killing me, dealing with such an uncomfortable feeling, uh, beginning to feel the hostility for my ability of slowly becoming the villain. I just want to thank my fans, especially without you, that's the death of me. I don't consider myself a celebrity, but I've been doing this shit till I'm 70. This is my destiny. This is the best, best, best of me. It's an incredible feeling to grow, letting it go. I'm letting you know we're killing ourselves on the low. Um, everybody wants some. Everybody gets none because um, everybody's on drugs into the chorus. It's a killing machine. Right. Um, 
it's so everybody on drugs here is is basically just it's using it's talking i think about society as a whole um and and basically um just the the standards that are set and the expectations by your your kind of your your societal norms right um and he's he's sung about this before in other songs where uh everybody has these expectations of what you should do because he's he is sensitive to the fact of um and he gets he gets slack for some reason of like doing different things and doing things his own way right um which is which is kind of what i think uh us as fans like about him right is that um he's he he doesn't he doesn't have a genre he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't sing about or, or make songs about what people necessarily are comfortable with or want to he's not doing shit to 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 make bangers you know for the radio mainstream was um and that's why he specifically thanked his fans uh because he was like yo <laughs> most people are fucking crazy out there if you roll with me cool if not I, I don't know what to say then fucking move on you know kick rocks it's fine um but that's kind of what i took from that um and then and then he goes on to to kind of because he, he he refers to it as the american dream so it's hard to because uh, everybody's on drug it's hard to believe the american dream is a killing machine we're all falling with love with a new disease it's killing you then it's murdering me um it's getting so unbelievable having so much fun staring down a loaded gun um you see if it's killing you um you don't see that it's killing you because everybody's on drugs uh so it's yeah same thing it's it, it refers it refers to what i was talking about with those expectations and those sort of norms as um as the american dream quote unquote so um and uh yeah this is this style though i, I love when ronnie gets you know when he's he's got that just he has this aggressive passion and fucking and and anger in in attacking a lot of these verses and, and he can do so much because he can slide that right into a rap and he can rap and he can he can do whatever the fuck he wants but um he's just he's that talented but so this is this is i think him also because he brought it up again um i don't know if you guys can see my screen right there um maybe you can where uh it's it blonde ronnie laying on the ground eyes light up right so we're addressing uh the the past ronnie from the last video i believe i have to look back at that it's been a minute but um anyways let me run that back a tad let's go It's also this it's it's interesting how he's in the video he's counterbalancing in a in a in a somewhat a little bit i think of a uh, underhanded sort of way the faith right you saw the crosses and then the uh the room lit up with candles and then on the flip side of that this empty room uh where he's he's hanging right um and i, I gotta be careful with I, i'm not sure about doing this video at all even really because Su- I, I can't even say it. The topically, uh, YouTube's very weird about certain things, right? Um, but so you gotta be you gotta be careful what. But I saw that it's people have people have watched this before. So um, when I looked it up, it was there's reactions. So I should be okay. But um, you can't get you can't get real heavy into into discussing it. The algorithm, the the little AI bots will get you and flag you. So, anyways. Hold on a second. We got Corey Taylor coming in. Um, did I see a feature on that? I did not. Okay. Um, welcome to the chat, Corey. Jeez. 
What, what did Corey uh, save yourself? So, because no one else really has a clue. It's in your veins. Like you know, everybody wants to, because everybody wants to. Fall in love with you. Um, that motherfucker die. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Fuck die. Um, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, that was dope. We got we got some fucking Slipknot Corey, not some a little different than Stone Sour Corey. Uh, anyways, um, that was, and and again, I'm not gonna. I don't need to run it back. But the the chainsaw again. We're still battling old Ronnie, right? What's going on here? We depicting his mom's mom's. Do I know you? No, not really. You seem so familiar. I'm your son. They added like a demonic tone into her voice. Did you hear that? Um, they're giving her this, this kind of this, it's not a good look. Um, but she had this, here, I'll run it back. I'm sorry, I was never there for you. I'm, I'm not here for your apologies. I'm here to thank you. I'm here to thank you for never being there. Because it made me the person I am today. And without that, I don't know where I'd be. This is my first hello, and this is my last goodbye. The American dream is a killing machine. Everybody's on I said, this is my first hello. This is my last goodbye. Thanks, mom, for nothing. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of this theme within this and the other two that it's there's a lot of sort of battling. <clears throat> excuse me, something in my throat. <coughs> Still there. Um battling like your former self right um where he you, you i mean he's not only depicting it visually but i mean he's he's brought he's brought elements of future self right daughter elements of past self or you know um components of his his sort of his his demeanor and his outlook just based solely on his treatment in life and by treatment i mean like um, how he's overall viewed, not just by public and, and society and, and what he's kind of, that interaction's been like for him, but also familial ties, right? His family. Um, and in this sense, you know, a lack of care and um, and really just being there, you know, <laughs> a lack of appearance. Um, so he's, he's sort of addressing that as to where he landed, which... Um, and this is depicting is there's this this thematic you know this theme of ending your your days with the noose and the whatever um and this this kind of d these deathly kind of undertones throughout this but I, I think that that's more of a symbolic approach than just actually like a you know a literal approach in this sense i could be wrong American dream is a killing machine. Everybody's on Funny. Willow! Willow! You've 
gotta be fucking kidding me! That was cool. Um, so the the end there, it's it 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 demonizes his daughter too. It's interesting. Um, it's like he can't escape this dream almost because he refers to it initially as the American dream, but then, um, well, throughout, right? Um, and he makes references to dreams in two different places: the the American dream, right, which is which is you know the the part of expectations you know that sort of set forth by by society right and then you've got you've got his own actual dream that that he's well his dream is essentially just like uh the life he's the path he's chosen and and this sort of uh he wasn't actually sleeping but like his his kind of haze in in how he's chosen to to sort of deal with with things over the years um and you know the reference to drugs obviously has something to do with that but um it and but it's but it's interesting how it's it like it it's it's depicting uh it it basically is just nonstop and you know doesn't know how to you know cuz he's like dude you got to be fucking kidding me right um how to kind of escape it you would think like oh daughter's a great place to start and then you know it's it's interesting i <laughs> Corey's Corey's verse uh, just popping in was uh, that was badass. I was not expecting that. Um, but this is uh, this is interesting. This is this is a a good. I mean, it's it's a it's a good wrap up to, or I guess continuation of the others. Um, it's yeah, it's just it's a continuous battle with oneself, right? Um, and and basically saying that you know that. He's, he, he continues to try to do things for him, but, you know, in his own way, but it's, it's just like this constant kind of battle between him and, um, and everybody else. Cause it's just like, everybody's on drugs. So he, he keeps referring to that. Right. Um, super cool. That song was badass though. That, that, that went a little, that went a little harder than, and it had, uh, it had for, for six and a half minutes, it, it, there was uh it, it there was a little bit more storytelling in that you had you had the last third of the song just kind of and then you know wrapping things up with mother daughter um a little more a little more theatrical but cool i like that a lot um and i'll check out more of their stuff um for uh, on my channel here i've got i've got like a list of 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 theirs to to get into i wanted to finish up the trilogy though cuz i've i think those are the last two that i did but no, that's not true. Didn't I do like a? Did I do like a? Like a throwback with Coolio. In the middle there, I might have. Does that sound right? I don't. I have no idea. It's it's early. Anyways, do me a favor. Go support Falling Universe. Please go like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, if you like what I do, like comment down below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Appreciate it very much. Uh, it does help out the channel. And we'll uh, we'll catch you on the next.